Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion, and today I would like to talk about level scaling. I may have talked about this before, but I want to talk about it again. This game has the most awkward level scaling I've ever seen in a video game. You know, it's so weird, it's so random, and it's just... I think it's definitely one of Oblivion's weaker points. You know, and it's not... I wouldn't necessarily say it would kill the game for anyone, I don't think level scaling in Oblivion would be a reason to outright kill it, you know, because it's something to say where you go through alien ruins and you fight through skeletons, then the end, then the game starts serving you gob- or not goblins, ghosts, and then you start getting wraiths, you know? But I think the bigger issue is more so the end game than anything else in Oblivion. You know, I have a character, I've played many characters where you get that super endurance in the beginning of the game so that throughout the rest of the game, you just have an insane high HP. I mean, your HP, no matter how you play, is really high with these characters where you level them up in the beginning of the game with a lot of endurance. And even if I do that, I don't feel like I have high health. I feel like instead of being rewarded for having a high health, I'm... It's more like I'm not punished, if that makes any sense. So if I play two characters, for instance, and one, I grind out uh, endurance, right? I have heavy armor and block is just through the roof and armor is through the roof. I, it's not that I can tank shots. It's that I'm not squishy. I'm not worried about how much damage I'm taking so much. You know, I, I could see where you would fortify um, in like, something like health and use alteration to really make yourself a tank but even then just you know that play style alone doesn't make me feel like a tank whereas if I play a stealth build I feel like I'm punished and just super squishy way too squishy for this game to you know like the, 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 the DPS sacrifice that I get you know versus the lower health just I get punished for it you know and so level scaling is just really weird in this game. And I also think it's weird because, you know, you, you fight, let's just say, maybe not rats, but let's just say trolls, for instance, right? Level 10, you're fighting trolls, right? With a dwarven axe, let's just take for example. I'm actually literally fighting trolls with a dwarven axe as I record this. And, you know, they take like three hits to kill, okay? But then when I'm a level 30 character, if I fight trolls, they still take three hits to kill. Trolls shouldn't scale like that. Like, it's a troll, you know? I think something that I found in Morrowind already is that dungeons seem to have, you know, very specific levels when you go to a dungeon. They're low level or high level or medium level, you know, whatever. And I, that works way better than Oblivion's level scaling. Bandits are always squishy in this game. It's not like you fight bandits and, you know, you go into a cave and you, you know, like, oh, okay, the bandits are all going to have leather armor, they're all going to have mithril. You know, you always find the same armor class. It's like you level up, and every single enemy levels up with you, you know? And I kind of think it should be where, okay, some bandits, no matter where you go, are going to have glass armor, you know? And some are going to have whatever armor. And I would actually prefer it if things like, let's say, glass armor are level locked. I think that would, it would be cool if they divided up uh, Light Armor and Armorer into those higher tier kind of armor classes as well. So like maybe level 25 you unlock Mithril and Chainmail or maybe level 50, you know, something like that. I would prefer that because I think that would make using armor a little bit more rewarding than, okay, I have a full set of glass armor, I never ever ever have to worry about armor again and it's just gonna level up with me, you know. I, I think that that's an issue with level scaling in this game, and I wish it would be different. I wish, you know, we had set levels. I wish that if I played a DPS character, for instance, I felt like it took less hits to kill every enemy, but it took more, you know, less hits to kill me, too. And the enemies, you know, they had varied stuff. You know, it, it gets boring after a while fighting every single marauder wearing Diedrich armor. They're all wearing Diedrich armor. You know, it's boring like that. I kind of wish, you know, maybe some of them were lower tier and they had iron. You know, I'd prefer it where, um, I would prefer it where if you were a higher level, so let's say 
Uh, my enemy's armor class gets bumped up, right? So I go from iron and steel to some dwarven, where instead of um, changing the enemies to where it's uh, like, let's say five enemies in this cave, maybe they add two more where they have dwarven, you know? So I fight normal tier marauders, and then when I level up, I get those higher tiers added in, you know? Because just because the Marauders all get an armor class up doesn't make them all harder. They get easier. You know, goblins in this game, they're easy till the end of the game, then they're hard. I hate fighting goblins in the end of Oblivion. If I find a cave with goblins in it, I don't even want to go through it in Oblivion because they're just so hard to beat compared to something like trolls or orcs or, not orcs, uh, bandits. You know, bandits and marauders are the easiest enemies in the game when, you know, they could level scale some of the caves to make them even harder and then you know you find i'd, I'd, I'd be cool to find a marauder, a marauder city and fight literally like 50 marauders you know that would be epic and at the end you fight this cool boss that has this dejic armor and no matter what level you are he's there with his dejic armor and you know maybe he's just super tough like a level 40 and if you beat him, you get his Dejic armor, but you can't wear it because you're not a master of heavy armor. But, you know, that'd be just so cool. I would love that so much in Oblivion. And I bet you there's mods for it, guys. Like, honestly, all this stuff I'm talking about, this is all issues with vanilla Oblivion, you know? Um, but that's really it. That's how I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think of level scaling in Oblivion? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.